Hey guys, I'm Adam with Amtac Suppressors. Uh, came back to the range again with the mic to answer a question that a customer had about whether or not he should buy the Mantis 300 or the Mantis S. Uh, they're both 4-inch overbarrel suppressors. The difference is the Mantis 300 only has 3.7 inches of baffle structure in front of the barrel, where the Mantis S has 5.7. The Mantis 300 is designed to be hearing safe on a 300 blackout, and you can shoot it all the way up to a 300 wind mag, but it's not going to be hearing safe on those larger calibers from about 308 on up. Uh, the Mantis S is hearing safe all the up to a 300 wind mag and of course it's going to work on a 300 blackout as well but for the 300 blackout what kind of difference does it make so let's take a look here load this up reset our mic and at the ear mantis 300 on a 300 blackout is going to be 138.3 uh, like I said, the point is to be just hearing safe and then be as short as we can possibly make it. Now, if we go to the Mantis 300, we're going to gain a couple of decibels. It's not going to be anything real drastic, but we'll see where we get to here. Alright, so that other one is 138.3. And this guy is uh, 134.5. So about four decibels uh, additional suppression here, give or take. There's always a little bit of up and down as you're testing. I'm only doing one round here. Normally we shoot 10 rounds and we take an average. Um, but that's about what you're gonna expect, right around three to four decibels uh, additional suppression shooting a Mantis S on a 300 blackout. Uh, now, of course, the real advantage is I can shoot this all the way up to a 300 wind mag and still be hearing safe. So it makes for a great can for, you know, hunting, precision rifle shooting, things like that, where the Mantis 300 is really designed specifically for building a really short, compact 300 blackout. So if you're doing a purpose uh, built rig, the Mantis 300 is the way to go. For a versatile can, I'd go with the Mantis S. Uh, if you guys have any questions about any of this, you can go ahead and leave them up in the comments. And for anything else, you can visit us at AmpacSuppressors.com.